What's up guys, JV2017 here. Today I'd like to talk with you all about Battlefield Hardline, which is currently in open beta across pretty much all consoles except for Nintendo and the PC. And I've got about five hours of experience on this game across both the 360 and the Xbox One. And I just kind of want to give you guys my impressions and my thoughts on this game so far because there's a lot of kind of, not controversy, but conversation going on lately. Like, is Battlefield Hardline still a core Battlefield experience? So, I pretty much want to answer that question with you guys today and tell you guys about what I've learned from the game and how I enjoy it. So, anyways, let me first clarify. This game is so much better of an experience on current generation consoles. It's in 60 FPS, the textures are beautiful, and it's so smooth. It is very, very smooth. And when I play on 360, I notice that it's in 30 FPS. I notice that the textures are pretty terrible, and I understand that they are not working with the same kind of technology, but I'm just letting you guys know, if you've only played this on the last generation, you're missing out, and it's hard to make a really good opinion um, on this game unless you played it on the best uh, you know, consoles out there. I, I guess that sounds a little unfair, but at the same time, I'm just letting you guys know, this is a very awesome experience on the new generation consoles. So, let's answer that question. Is this still a core Battlefield experience? I'm gonna give you guys a yes or no answer right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. This is still Battlefield. This has not changed too much. A lot of people were worried that this is like an offshoot kind of game where, you know, DICE was gonna go in a different direction with Battlefield, try to innovate it a lot. And while there is some kind of, you know, innovation going on, it's really the same kind of experience. It really is. If you really love Battlefield, if you really love kind of a class-based, uh, you know, shooter where you can go in with certain different abilities that really doesn't change the class, you know, the classes aren't that much different from each other, but still you have kind of a role in the Battlefield and uh, that's still here. That's still here with Hardline and also these sprawling giant maps where you can just go and uh, participate in all-out warfare with the other team, that experience is still here. And also, there are some similar game modes, and I'll get to those in a second. But this is very much still a Battlefield game. There's not a lot different going on here except for newer, better, faster, smoother. You guys, you know, I'm sure are used to that with these kind of sequel franchises. So, again, there's not much, you know, that's really different with this game. But, however... The thing that is different is a very good thing, in my opinion, and it's this cops and robbers kind of uh, flavor that they've got going on with Hardline. This is very much a cops and robbers warfare kind of game. And they kind of, uh, you know, share that experience with everyone through the three game modes that they have in this game so far that I've played. So the first one is Heist. That's what you guys are watching right now. And it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. The criminals, so there's two teams. There's criminals and cops, or policemen. And that's the same thing across all modes. And the criminals are just trying to, basically, if you're a criminal, you spawn in, you're trying to place a bomb on the vault, blow open the vault, grab the cash, and escape by helicopter. And it's a very fun experience if you can get it done and help your team out. And yeah, of course, that sounds awesome. It's just a fun experience. And of course, if you're a cop, then you're doing the opposite. You're just trying to defend. It's pretty much a defend versus an attack. Whereas, you know, the police are defending and the criminals are attacking, trying to pick up that cash and get the hell out of there. So that's what Heist is. Again, that's what you guys are watching right now. The other game mode that's brand new that's in this beta is called Hotwire. And I don't want to get really into Hotwire because you guys aren't watching it. It's kind of hard to explain, uh, you know, from a removed perspective where I can't, you know, point things out to you guys on the screen because it's pretty unique. But long story short, you have to control certain vehicles that are like moving capture flags. And the longer you control them, the more points you rack up, the less tickets your other team has or the enemy team has and you win. So that's pretty much it. But the Hotwire game mode was actually my favorite. I had so much fun playing Hotwire with my buddies last night. We would just hop in a squad car as policemen, just go around being policemen, you know, shooting criminals as policemen do. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. It was a really fun experience. And so those are the two game modes that are brand new. The third one is Conquest. They still have Conquest. Of course, you know, Conquest is like a staple of Battlefield games. I haven't had a chance to play it, but I'm sure it's a very similar experience. And another thing that really jumped out at me with this beta and with Hardline is the maps. So right now you're pretty much watching us play or watching me play on this kind of 
downtown bank map. So we're pretty much centered around a bank. We can get on top of root rooftops. It's basically like a street corner with a bank that you can go into. And what I really like about this map is it provides context. You are in this bank fighting for a reason, because you're a cop defending money from criminals or because you're a criminal trying to steal money from cops or right or the bank or whatever. And I feel like we haven't had that in Battlefield games before. There hasn't been a lot of context. Maybe if you played the story of Battlefield, there was some context there that you could, you know, somehow derive from that. But with this, it makes a lot of sense. It, it kind of ties in the gameplay. It ties in, you know, the cops versus robbers. And it feels like you have more of a purpose in this battlefield, which is kind of uh, fun for me. It's really fun for me and my friends to act like we're criminals or act like we're cops and, you know, either save the day or get some sweet fat loot, bro. You know what I mean? And so that's kind of the fun experience that uh, I, I really think that this game pulls off really well. And on the Hotwire map, it's kind of like a random battlefield, but it's it's fun as well. It's, it kind of reminds me more of the core battlefield experience that we've had in previous battlefield games. So really what this beta has been to me is a refresher on the battlefield series. I didn't have a good experience with Battlefield 4 because the game didn't work for me for the first week. And if your game launches and your game does not work for me, I can't play with my friends or whatever issues, I'm really turned off to your game. Like, I don't want to play it because games don't have the longest life cycle for me. However, I haven't had any problems with Battlefield Hardline in the open beta. It's been very smooth, not rocky at all, and this really fun kind of cops and robbers experience. So, basically, to wrap this up, I've enjoyed this beta so far. I, I'm not sure if I'll pick up the game when it comes out on March 17th. I don't know what I'll be doing at that point, but if I do have no video games to play at that point, I will of course go pick up Battlefield Hardline because it seems like a fun game. And again, I really appreciate kind of the offshoot refresher experience that Hardline brings. So also to answer the question, is this still a true Battlefield game? It totally is. It still plays like a true Battlefield game. It's pretty much got all the same core mechanics, but just that, you know, little bit of spin on it, which is refreshing. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy this commentary. Let me know what you think about Battlefield Hardline. Have you been playing it? Maybe you want to play it. You haven't downloaded it yet. Let me know in the comments section below, and I'd like to read what you guys have to say. So hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Probably my best Battlefield gameplay of all time that's been uploaded to YouTube, 9 and 3, <laughs> which is pretty pathetic. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you all next time. Peace.